Welcome to the table, everyone. Today we're going to be unbagging Aiden by Greg Porter. Greg Porter is the gentleman that did Armageddon War. And this, from what I was reading, almost felt like it was going to be a mini Armageddon War. And that's just a first impression on some things that I read. Uh, I can't say for sure because I haven't read the rules yet. But um, it, uh, just a couple things that said, like, you got dice that give... Well, dice always give results, but I had a feeling that it was going to be like a mini Geddon War, which I think is great, and especially because it's going to use six-sided dice. And I love special dice, like Armageddon War uses specially designed dice. However, my only problem with specially designed dice for a lot of games is if you start to lose dice... Bummer. And then if you buy extra dice and you have an overabundance of dice that you can't really use with other games. So having a six-sided dice version, I think, is really, really smart decision. But again, I can't say that this plays like Geddon War because I haven't read the rules yet. We're just opening the bag. So I pulled the counters out. I'm going to pull the rule book out. Ooh, this is a beefy rule book. Just grabbing it, I can feel by the thickness there. It's going to have... Yeah, this one's beefy. Greg Porter does really, really good rule sets. So if it's beefy, that's great. That means this probably has a good amount of replayability and some depth for folks. Well, since I just pulled, that's it. No player aids or, okay, I was gonna say player aid must be on the rule book. This, we'll see if that's the only player aid chart. Photocopy that easy for your opponent. Let's just go ahead and look at the map. Okay, this pie is 11 by 17. I was looking at Matter of Honor earlier and I thought that was 11 by 17. I think that's a bigger than 11 by 17. This feels like 11 by 17. 17 that way. We could measure it. Uh, well, let's see here, extra. Yep, that's 11. Hello, dust. By 17. Yeah, this is an 11 by 17, so I miss miss said the size of the map on a matter of honor but okay this is actually a really pretty map as well uh the hexes are clearly identified as what they are i mean this is clearly going to be some kind of the deserty area maybe mountainous city uh the colors the green probably tell you like where the allies start red might be where militias start easy iconography probably a hospital um, hotel, airport, probably where, you know, your factions start there. Hey, look, there's a 7-Eleven port. Cool. All right, this is a very functional map. Uh, turn tracker right there. Again, I like that. Very limited play aids on the map, so you can just focus on the map itself. So very functional. Very pretty. Very pretty graphics on the map. So we'll set that aside. Let's take a look at the rule book. No play aids. We'll just hop right here. Here is your one player aid chart. So how close was I? Um, dense urban, light urban, water, some highways, tunnels. There's tunnels marked on the map I can see. Then gone to ground. You got some counters for gone to ground. Well, oh, the counters are gonna be nice. We'll take a look at those in a second here. Uh, so again, a beefy rule book. I'm just gonna open it up. This right here, so this is amazing. This ends, okay, those are scenarios. So this is great, you got scenarios. So let's bypass the scenarios. And right, well, first of all, look at the size of that print. Thank you. I mean, I'm older now and I am still quite capable of reading fine, finer print and I don't wear glasses yet. However, it is very comfortable to open it up and see large text. And you've got full color again. This is a really well put together booklet as well. I'd say the last couple of games from Tiny Battle Publishing have just been fantastic with the print quality. Something's changed, it feels like, but it, they might say nothing's changed, it's always the same, but these are like really nice books from the last couple of games. So I'm very happy to have these and read these. So these are great color examples. Yeah, fantastic. It's not glossy paper, but it's it's perfect paper. This is really nice. Uh, so again, you're probably looking at 20, what did I say, about 22 pages of rules and really nice large text. So if you put this into smaller normal war game text, 
you're still probably looking at like 16 pages or so but nice large text will make this a pleasure to read so really good really good book so you get your map you get a rule book and the counters these are large counters now these are not as thick as what comes in Armageddon War. These are one inch counters and they look good. Let's bring the camera down. Come here camera. Let's take a look at these bad boys and stop the camera from wiggling. Look at this. And again, no sticky sides. That's fantastic. Uh, Matter of Honor was the same way. So those are the last two games I picked up from Tiny Battle Publishing. And they're fantastic. They're not sticky at all. They pop out. But again, for you counter clippers, they do attach nubbins in the middles, but they are pre-rounded a bit. So I think that's good. I've, uh, I've had a couple people tell me what they do. And I think it's a little tedious. I don't know if someone has a better way, but they really hate the side nubs. They actually will take their X-Acto knife and just kind of try to nick off those nubs. But I always feel if I try that, I'm going to end up digging into the counter and making it worse but I'll probably play with it um, aligned well so that's that's another thing let's take a look here I don't see anything really bleeding off of the counter that's been cut no nope, looks they look good they're aligned well and the back that's where usually people will complain that the back is mis misaligned but these are look great I'm telling you these are fantastic it, it really feels like they've improved their print process. The little thin right here on the sprue, ooh, that came really close to the edge there. If you can see that, just that came close to the edge. But again, it did exactly what it needed to do. It protected the counter. So these are great T34s, some recon. Yeah, these are lovely counter. I mean, they're the thinner counters. But again, this is a Ziploc bag. That's, that helps keep the price down. Get you a game for about 30 bucks versus like $100 if you get the, the large thick counters and everything else. So these are, really, these are really good counters. And they're not overburdened with info. Looks like you got a, a missile value there. And then your attack values, defense, probably movement maybe if it's in the... Again, haven't looked at the rules. Um, but maybe this unit can move one hex. Because the game plays here in these hexes, and so if that's a dismounted infantry unit, depending on the size of the hex, moving one hex with dismounted infantry carrying tow missiles probably makes sense. Five with a 113 personnel carrier. So I'm guess I'm I'm gonna make a guess, and we'll find out if I'm correct later. That middle value is movement. All right, and then plus five for something. Your turn. Okay, well there you go. That's the first set of counters. And then we got some more over here, a couple more vehicles, T-55s, Militia, and M1A2, yay, T-55s, BMPs, so some older type Warsaw packed equipment. And the counters are coming out pretty good, just grabbing a couple here. I think what's really nice, uh, they've, I think they definitely have improved the printing process and cutting process on the counters. I really appreciate the no sticky sides. It helps them pop out of the sprue really well. And they're not sticking to each other at all. Yeah, these are great. Yeah, so the, the way these are count are, they pop out individually, whereas some of the games where you have smaller counters, they're all kind of stuck together in a strip. So these each have their own individual little holder. Now, I'm not gonna stick these back at the end of a game and stick them in here, because this is too thin to really support that. So I'm just gonna put these probably in a Ziploc bag. But, um, ooh, yeah, but these are great. So enough of that. Well, that's an unbagging. That's the contents that come with it. So what is Aiden? Normally on the back, we see some kind of intro. So I'm going to open this up. And right here. Lift it up. There you all can read with me. Aiden is a compact, semi-tactical game about low-intensity conflicts in the Middle East with a short campaign on the theme of a civil war, with rebels facing off against government forces in a coastal city. Any similarity to the Yemen civil war is entirely deliberate. 
is designed to appeal to novice tactical gamers, but still have enough crunch for experienced ones. It also has a different feel than most games at this scale. A battle between thousands taking an entire day may involve a lot of retreats and loss of territory, but only a minor level of actual casualties. In addition to having to deal with battles where the enemy is usually able to avoid being killed by the simple expedient of yeah, of running away, forces are also erratic in their ability to act with limited coordination and are almost always stuck with obsolescent equipment and poorly trained troops. Your goal is to take what you have been given and make the best of it. Nice. Okay, probably 500 meters per hex and perhaps an hour per turn. So semi-tactical operational type of thing. Yeah, this looks good. I am very, very anxious to play this one. Right, see, this is where I'm getting some of the vibes from Armageddon War. Firepower value, you have gold, green, red. But once I get in here and read this, I'll find out how similar. Actually, I should probably just take my mindset of just saying, no, this is its own separate game. But yeah, the rules look really good. I'm going to be happy to read through this one. Close combat. Arrogant. Special characteristics. Somebody is arrogant. Uh, this is unique to the three allied units that are available to the government player in a few of the scenarios. These units recover one extra step automatically, but are not command units. These are foreign troops with superior equipment who are convinced of their own invulnerability. This leads them to use tactics that are less than optimum and constrains the government player in how they are used. Specifically, when these units are activated or targeted, they act normally, but if a choice of actions are available that match the below, you have to use a list of choice. So there's a little decision chart there for how you can use them. Uh, that's cool. I like he's got some, some of those things planned in there. And then here's the objective hexes. I knew hotel, good, a mosque, airport, hospital. All right. The icons matched what I thought they were. Perfect. And six scenarios, kind of playing in a mini campaign style, he said. Nice. No, quirks. This is cool. Quirks. All in. All objective hex rules are in play. Okay. Oh, I wonder if that's like optional rules. Urban renewal. After government set it, but before start of play, government player places rubble in any two non-objective light or dense urban hexes in column six or west of it. Then rebel player places rubble in one hex with those qualities. Keeping low. Four hexes with rebels may, may start play with gone to ground markers. So your quirks, I like that. Uh, fancy way of saying optional. Scoring for rebels is only for units in the specified hexes at game end. Each rebel command unit, well, we won't read all those to you, but nice. This is a really nice rule set. Again, I don't want this to be a review. Haven't even played it yet, but overall, it looks fantastic. So I think this is going to be another really good game. Greg Porter does some really good work. So this is Aiden. You get your rule book. Again, a nice beefy rule book for Tiny Battle Publishing there. So it should have lots of crunch. He did say for beginning players with crunch for us veterans. Trust me, I don't need a lot of crunch. <laughs> I'm not a veteran. I've been playing games for a while, but when you play so many games, all the rules start to tend to mesh together. So having a simplistic game here and there is good with just enough crunch so you get your map 11 by 17 for sure because i measured it 11 by 17 map clear easy to read graphics on it and you get two counter sheets here how many counters does it say how many counters what's my components here uh, i was looking to see if it had a list of components because I wanted to see exactly how many counters that was, if it would tell me. I'm not seeing it. It's okay. Well, you get two, two sprues of one inch counters that are, again, nice, easy to read graphics and centered, and they punch out easy and no sticky sides. I love it. So I think this is gonna be another great game. All right, thank you, Tiny Battle Publishing. I will see you all on the next video. Thanks for tuning in.